السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Let's start with the new lesson today درس اليوم يكون إن شاء الله We'll talk about materials You know what we mean by materials المواد So we will study how to Yeah some features, characteristics about the uh, materials and how to describe the materials using some adjectives, how to describe them. Yes, yeah, so you, you just need in this, so we'll start with these things, you just you need to remember uh, their definitions with the example, that the very simple thing. Then we'll move inshallah to talk about the adjectives, how to use the adjectives uh, to describe the materials. So, look at the first thing. These are some of the characteristics of the or the types of materials that we have. Number one is brittle. The definition is very simple. Easily broken. Like glass. Glass is brittle. Brittle means hush. Easily broken. المثال على ذلك الواضح الذي ليش الزجاج glass is brittle so brittle is easily broken the example is glass dense the definition of dense is very simple heavy in relation to size so it is heavy in relation to size ثقيل مقارنة بالإيش بالحجم يعني كثيف dense كثيف The example is hard rocks, سخور الصلبة, like granite, is dense. That is dense, very simple. Ductile or ductile, British English, can be stretched and yet retain its strength. So can be stretched and yet retain its strength. يمكن أن تمد. وتحتفظ بقوتها دكتايل يقابل للسحب مرن يمكن يمد ويحتفظ بقوته كما هو so can be stretched and yet retain its strength copper is ductile ductile the النحاس is the example of ductile of ductile elastic Elastic will spring back, uh, will spring back to its original shape when stretched. Will spring back. So if you stretch it, it will come back to its normal shape. الذي مطاط. It will spring back. يعود إلى شكله الأصلي عندما يمد. Rubber is the very clear example of elastic. So rubber is elastic. Plastic, plastic will keep its new shape when it's stretched. Uh, unlike elastic, elastic it will be back to its normal shape, original shape. But the plastic, if you stretch it or bend it, it will uh, keep its new shape. Uh, yeah, will keep its new shape when it's stretched or bent. تحافظ على شكلها الجديد لما تمد او يثنى مثلا يحاول على الشكل يظل كما عكس الالاستيك الاستيك في ستريتش ات يرجع لكن البلاستيك ما يرجعش يحافظ على شكله الجديد كوبر واير الواير حق الكوبر از بلاستيك سو اف يو ستريتش ات ات ويل بي لايك اف يو بيند ات ات ويل بي ذا سيم ثينج سو ات ويل نوت بي باك ذات از الاستيك اند بلاستيك So these are just uh, some of the, yes, you have to remember only the definition and the example. Very simple. Clear? So we have brittle, easily broken. Glass is brittle. Dense, heavy in relation to size. Hard rocks, so as the granite is dense. Ductile or tactile can be stretched and yet retain its strength. Copper is ductile, example. Elastic 
will spring back to its normal or original shape when stretched. Rubber is the very clear example. Last. Plastic will keep its new shape when stretched or bent. Copper wire is uh, plastic. So you have just to remember the, uh, the definition and you remember the, the example. So if you are given, for example, in the exam, yeah, what is brittle? Uh, brittle is easily broken like glass. What is elastic? Elastic will be spring back to its normal shape when it's stretch. Or if I give you, for example, the choices to choose. Um, copper is ductile. Yes, true. Granite is uh, brittle. False. ودالي اختيارات ودالي تعاريف ودالي كذا اكون عندي الاسئله الامر واضح واضح ما فيش مشكله فيها ممتاز اوكي سو وي نيو هاو تو يس ذات دي ماتيريالز سم وي كان ديسكرايب دي ماتيريالز يوزينغ سم ادجكتيفز ليتس هاف جيف سم اكزامبلز اباوت ذيس ادجكتيفز Look at number one, durable. Durable is lasting a long time, not wearing out. You don't live at all time. So that is what we mean by durable. So for example, steel, steel is durable. Rock, all the same thing. Some materials, they last a long time. Okay. Number two, malleable. Malleable. Malleable, able to be hammered into shape. قابل للتشكيل. Able to be hammered into shape. So that is what we mean by malleable. You just remember the definition of malleable. Like for example, copper, whatever, you can shape it as you like. Tough. Tough. Can withstand cracking and the shock. Tough. Causing can withstand cracking under استطيع ان يقاوم الصدمات والضربات still the same thing yes rock whatever so it can stand uh, withstand cracking under shock that is the definition smooth smooth uh, having an even surface it has even surface some materials they have uh even serves can you give, can anybody give me an example about uh, smooth materials yeah hmm yes right glass glass has a smooth surface glass has a smooth surface so uh Glass smooth. Okay, so durable, lasting a long time, not wearing out. It will take. I mean, it 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 will uh, stay for a long period of time, and it will not uh, wear out. Malleable, able to be hammered into shape. You can shape it you like. شكله زي ما تشتي قبل الطرق الصح تشكيل. Tough. يتحمل الصدمات قاسي. Under shock. Smooth, it will have a surface, uh, even surface, smooth stuff. These are some of the adjectives you have to remember. Uh, we can use some other adjectives to describe materials and we'll discuss them later, inshallah. We can say, for example, yeah, some materials are strong. Some of them are weak. Some of them are stiff. Some of them are heavy. Some of them are light, soft, hard, flexible, and so on. So we can use this adjective to describe the materials, to describe the materials. So we will say this material is tough, this material is weak, this material is heavy, this material is stiff, this material is flexible, and so on. So we will use these, uh, some of these adjectives to describe the uh, materials, you just remember these things about describing the materials you remember the definition of durable malleable tough smooth if i gave you for example a definition uh, durable 
and I'll give you ch uh, choices. For example, you will know which one you ch choose. Lasting a long time. Malleable, able to be hammered into shape. Tough, can withstand cracking under shock. Smooth, have uh, an even surface. You have to remember these uh, definitions. Clear? And we can use some other adjectives as well to describe the uh, materials. كنا نستخدم صفات كثيرة طبعا زي المكتوبات عندك هنا بالازرق strong, weak, stiff, heavy, light, soft, hard, flexible لوصف uh, المواد الموجودة معنا. اوكي؟ اوكي. اوكي. So we said that when we describe the materials we we'll use the adjective to describe them like the one that we mentioned. Uh, let's have this one okay together. Let's answer this one together. The adjectives with some uh, their op uh, opposites. صفات مع عكوساتها نحلها مع بعض على أساس تكون واضحة. We have uh, some adjectives in the books in the blue one. Ductile, expensive, light, soft, still, weak. You just match the one with the opposite. Number one, for example, heavy, strong, brittle, flexible, hard, cheap. Okay. Ha. Huh. Can you do the yes? Can you do this one? Okay. I'm waiting. We'll give you time. Do it. Hello, Hantu. الكلمات الصفات مع عكوساتها اوكي Finished? Okay. Yes, number one. Heavy. Ahmed. Heavy. Light. Mumtaz. Heavy thakil. Light, heavy. That is number one. Strong. Muhammad. Strong. Weak. Excellent. Mutaz. Qawi. Daif. Strong. Weak. Number three. Brittle. Brittle, Abdullah. Brittle, ductile. Yes, brittle is the opposite of ductile. Ductile, ductile. So, al qabil sah brittle hash shqabil. Number four, flexible. Flexible. Abdul Aziz, flexible? Yes, stiff. Stiff is the opposite of uh, flexible. Montez. Number five, hard. 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 Ali, soft. Yes, hard is the opposite of Soft. Solve now. Question now. Okay. The last one. Cheap. Cheap. Yes. Abdul Karim. Cheap. Cheap. Expensive. Right. Khizali. Cheap. Expensive. Clear. So once again, 
heavy is the opposite of light strong is the opposite of weak brittle is the opposite of ductile flexible is the opposite of stiff hard is the opposite of soft cheap is the opposite of expensive these are the opposites you have to remember the adjective and the opposite so if i gave you for example the exam ah the opposite of heavy will be light a very simple thing you have to remember these ones so that when we compare when we describe the materials you be able to use them very simple thing inshallah okay okay uh, so we mentioned how to describe the materials some of the uh, characteristics features of the materials and how to describe them using the adjectives yeah and we mentioned some of the uh, adjectives with their opposites uh, if you remember we said if we mentioned this one last semester we said that we have what we call the parts of speech you know the parts of speech yeah yes exactly and we said how many parts of speech do we have yeah <coughs> Bilal how many good so there are eight parts of speech what are they nouns verbs adjectives adverbs pronouns prepositions conjunctions interjections so these are the parts of speech that we mentioned several times that so when you speak either you use an noun or you use a verb or you use adjective or you use a verb that's it some people they will say you have nine plus uh, the uh, determiners but in general they are eight we use them when you speak all right some of them so when you use these ones some of them if, if you want to change it from one part to another part so you just add some suffixes prefixes to them generally we add uh, in general we add suffixes sometimes we add prefixes we know what we mean suffixes and prefixes you know yeah prefix is what you add before the root of the word so i have happy and happy and is a prefix in english polite impolite so m is the prefix we call it we add it to pre pre before the beginning of the word prefix suffix you add it at the end of the word نضيف الصفيكس الذي لا عك شيء لا يضاف إلى نهاية الكلمة. فأنا أقول happy happy لي 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 is a suffix. educate education شن شن is a suffix. you add it to the end. that is suffix prefix we call it. so sometimes if you want to for to change the form from one to another, you add suffix or prefix. generally the suffixes. you add so sometimes if you want to change it from noun to verb from verb to noun from adjective to noun uh, from adjective verb to adverb you add some uh, suffixes to them or prefixes so they will become different uh, yeah we mentioned some of them if you remember last semester we, we mentioned shen and we mentioned al remember yes uh, today we'll talk about some of them to form nouns we call them noun suffixes why do we call them noun suffixes we call them noun suffixes because they will give me noun the result will be noun the result will be noun so if i add a suffix to a word uh, to a, a word whether it is verb or adjective or whatever it will give me a noun so we call them noun suffixes let's have some examples about the 
nouns of exists in English. So we can form some nouns by modifying adjectives. So if I have an adjective, sometimes, and I want to make it to, uh, to change it into, into a noun, I can add <coughs> ness, the suffix ness, or it. The suffix ness or it. So ness and it, they are noun suffixes. What do they do? They change the adjective into noun. Right? So ness is a noun suffix. And it is also a noun suffix. They change the noun, uh, sorry, the adjective into a noun. So if you attach them to adjective, they will become, the adjective will become noun. Rather, so they, we call them noun suffixes. They change the noun, uh, they change the adjective into noun. Be careful about this one. Ness and it. Look at the examples. Number one, happy. Happy is an adjective. If you add ness to happy, happiness, happiness becomes noun. So happy is adjective and happiness now. So when you add ness to the, the adjective happy, it will become noun. It will become noun. So we say ness is a noun suffix. Happy Saeed. Happiness is Saada. Tayyarat ila is. Number two, kind. Kind is an adjective. Kindness. Kindness will become noun. Number three, sad. Sad is adjective. Sadness. Sadness is a noun. Sad hazin. Sadness. Al -huz. Number four, national. National. We know national is adjective. Why it is adjective? Yes? Yeah, because we have AL. And we mentioned this last semester, if you remember. We said AL is an adjective suffix. It will change the noun into adjective. Change the noun into adjective. Where is the noun? The noun is nation. Nation is a noun. National is adjective. National is adjective. So we said AL is a... Is an adjective suffix. It will give me uh, adjective. It changes AL, changes the noun into adjective. Education, noun, educational is adjective. We studied this last semester. AL adjective suffix. adjective. So national is adjective. If I add I T E I T Y sorry to the adjective, it will become noun, another noun. So national is adjective. Nationality. Nationality is another adjective. Uh, is an is a noun. So I T is a noun. Noun. Nationality is a noun. Okay. Flexible. Flexible is adjective. Marin. The noun, if I add I T Y suffix. Flexibility, flexibility is an is a noun. Is a noun. Creative, creative is an adjective. If I add I T Y, creativity, creativity is a noun. Clear? So very simple. So if you add ness or I T, what is the function of ness and I T? Ness and I T are noun suffixes. What is the function? They will change the adjective into noun. They change the adjective into noun. So if I have an adjective, uh, if I add ness or I to, to them, they will become nouns. That is a very simple thing. Clear? Okay.
that are the about NIS and ID uh, suffixes in English. Okay, so let's uh, continue about noun suffixes. We mentioned that yes, NIS and IT are noun suffixes. There are some other suffixes as well that can uh, make nouns. Like shan, e a, e, -E o, or and mint. These are also noun suffixes. They are noun suffixes. Noun suffixes in the sense that they will give me noun. Now the category of the uh, shan, we are, we are, mint. It's a noun suffix. And the kelimi that it is in the Gaelic to connect. He now. Okay. If you remember, we mentioned Shen. Shen, we said that it is the noun suffix. We mentioned it last semester. But yes, the difference between uh, these uh, Shen, ER, ER, uh, Mint, and IT and uh, NES, what is the difference? Huh? Yeah. Right. The difference is NIS and IT, they change the adjective into noun. They, uh, NIS and IT, they change the, the adjective into noun. But Shen, E, R, E, 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 or meant, they change the verb into noun. Clear? Aid. So we said, okay, so NIS and IT, they change the adjective into noun. So you uh, uh, I, so we say they are noun suffixes, but they are attached to adjectives. So we'll say IT and the NIS, they are deadjectival. They have the adjectival function. They are attached to adjectives. That is the IT. But Shen, E-R, E-E-E, O-R, meant they will give me noun, yes, the same thing as I, uh, IT and NIS, but these five, they are attached to verbs, so they will change verbs into nouns. Verbs into nouns, so they are uh, attached to verbs, that is why we call them the verbal. They have the, the, the verbal function, but IT and NIS, they have the adjective. Okay? What? Aid. إذا ال IT والNIS بكل بساطة هي عبارة عن noun suffixes يديني noun لكن إنها تضاف إلى إيش؟ لا تضاف إلى adjective يغيرين ال adjective إلى noun لكن شن we are we we are meant هم كذلك يغير يديني noun لكن هم يضافوا إلى إيش؟ يضافوا إلى إلى الفعل ما يضافش إلى adjective فهم يغيروا الفعل إلى noun وال IT والNIS يغيروا ال adjective إلى noun وضحت؟ ممتاز uh, look at the examples. Educate. Educate is verb. Education becomes noun. If we add nation or I O N, for example, it changes the verb to Examine. 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 Verb. The modulation or I O N examination. Subhatish. Now, the examination. Shan. E R. Play. Play. Verb. Player. Now. Teach. Teacher, build, builder, run, runner. Okay, so er also is uh, a noun suffix attached to verb. You have to be careful about er here and er of adjective comparative. 
في فرق بين الاي ار هنا والاي ار حق الصفات اللي حق المقارنه هنقودها فيما بعد هذيك الاي ار ما تغيرش الصفات تظل صفات بس تغيرت من صيغه الصفه العاديه لاصفه مقارنه في فرق الاي ار هنا اضيفت الى الفعل فغيرت الفعل الناعم لكن الاي ار في الادجكتيف تظل ادجكتيف هوت هوتر مش تقول لي هوت هوتر اذا اذا هوت غيرت الى ناون ما غيرتش الى ناون في فرق بين الاي ار هنا والاي ار هناك سو اي ار اتاتش تو فيرب ات ويل بيكم ناون فيرب تو ناون اوكي ريد ريدر رايت رايتر اند سو اون فيري سمبل لوك ات ذا اكزامبل نمبر 1 2 3 4 5 اي اي employ employees verb employee e e so it becomes noun becomes noun appoint appoint yuayin is verb appointee is noun pay الفعل pay يدفع pay address addressee examine examinee the same thing okay so e e e also it will be attached to a verb to make it noun verb to make it noun also o r act with verb actor is noun يمثل ممثل تغير الى noun supervise الفعل verb supervise يشرف supervisor المشرف تغيرت الى survive survive to be noun okay develop development so meant also is a noun suffix uh, attached to verb develop development improve improvement so it will be improvement so meant is also a noun suffix invent uh, invest investment استثمر استثمار investment it will be meant so meant is also an answer so shan e r e e e o r meant they are noun suffixes but they are attached to verbs so they 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 are the verbal they are attached to verbs واضح اذا الشن والار واليور يعتبر الناون سفكسس في اللغه كذلك لكن وظيفتهم عباره عن ايش يضافوا للفعل هم يغيروا ليش they change the verb into noun they change the verb into noun i t n s they change the adjective into noun the adjective into noun واضح اوكي نكون هنا قد وصلنا الى ايش الى نهايه الدرس معكم طبعا اساينمنت في الدرس الاول مكتوب عندكم صفحة كم والأساينمنت كذلك مكتوب صفحة كم تحلو سهل جدا uh, if you have any question any inquiry لو في عندكم سؤال ولا استفسار ولا كذا أنا موجود uh, سألوني وأنا أجاوب عليكم بس إن شاء الله يكون سهلة واضحة جدا أسئلة ما تحتاجش أقصد uh, أن الأمور سهلة إن شاء الله واضح أوكي okay. thanks